we're going to draw the Lewis structure for zinc sulfide. Zinc is here in the transition metal block, even though it's not technically a transition metal. The point is it is a metal. And sulfur is over here uh, above and to the right of the staircase that's written on better periodic tables than I have. The point is you've got a metal and a non-metal which combine to make an ionic compound. That means there's going to be a transfer of electrons from one to the other, from metal to non-metal. How is that going to happen? Well, I'll tell you. Zinc brings two valence electrons with it. Now, my personal cheat for any of the atoms in this block is to look at the formula of the chemical they're giving me and figure out what charge it's going to have. Sulfur wants a charge of minus two, just like all the atoms in that column. And zinc needs a charge of plus two if, if they're canceling out in a one-to-one -one ratio, right? But also, if you know anything about the periodic table, you know zinc just can only have a charge of plus two, and that's the way it is. So, what I want you to do is take whatever charge you know zinc is going to have, that's plus two, and just draw it with that many valence electrons. Done. If this was iron three sulfide, then I would have drawn Fe with one, two, three valence electrons. It's just how it works. Now for sulfur, it's in group 16 of the periodic table. That means it brings six valence electrons with it. Bam, there you go. Now, most atoms follow the octet rule, which means you want each atom to have eight electrons in its outer shell. Now, that's mostly true for nonmetals because nonmetals are the ones taking electrons from metals. So it's totally fine that zinc's not going to have eight in its outer shell. It gave away electrons. It's going to be an empty outer shell instead. Sulfur has six electrons total, needs eight for the octet rule. Where is it going to get the missing two? Oh, look, zinc a metal is going to give its electrons away. Now, if zinc didn't have exactly two electrons to give away, I'd ask you to include more or less of them or more of these or whatever in the whatever magic ratio makes it so all the zincs end up empty and all the sulfurs end up full. But the formula here also gives that away, right? How many zincs are in this formula? Just one. And how many sulfurs are here? Also just one. You only need one of each. Done. I mean, not done, the Lewis structure needs to be drawn. You got to draw your Zn without its valence electrons. It now has a charge of positive two because it gave away two negatively charged electrons and losing minuses makes it plus. Sulfur, which started with one, two, three, four, five, six electrons, then took two from zinc, now has eight in its outer shell. That also becomes an ion, so give it the square brackets, and its charge is minus two, because it has two extra negatively charged electrons. This here is what you came for. That's the Lewis structure for an ionic compound, zinc sulfide specifically. Thanks for sticking with me, and best of luck.